deal on today's date is about when he gets jealous seeing you talking to another person. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You stood in the bustling cafeteria of UA High, your tray of food in hand, searching for a place to sit. The cafeteria was crowded, as usual, but your eyes landed on your boyfriend, Katsuki Bakko, who was sitting alone at a table near the window. His blonde hair spiked up in his signature style, caught your attention from across the room. As you approached him, you couldn't tell but admire how handsome he is, even with his usual scowl. He noticed you coming his way, and his lips curled into a small, affectionate smile as you slid into the seat across from him. Hey, Katsuki. He greeted him, leaning over to plant a quick kiss on his cheek. He grunted in response, but there was a warmth in his crimson eyes that spoke volumes. He knew he wasn't one for grand displays of affection, but you cherished these small moments between the two of you. The two of you began eating your lunches in comfortable silence, occasionally exchanging glances and smiles. But as the conversation around you grew louder, you spotted a familiar face approaching your table. Hey, Wyatt called out a friendly voice. It was Izuku Midoriya, one of your close friends. He was accompanied by another student, a guy you didn't know well, but recognized from your class. Hey, Izuku, he replied, offering a wave. What's up? Izuku introduced his friend as Taro, and the three of you engaged in a casual conversation. You couldn't help but notice Katsuki's clenched jaw and the way his fingers drummed on the table his jealousy was evident even if he didn't say anything so why on i was thinking we could study together later taro suggested with a friendly smile you were about to respond when katsuki's voice cut through the air dripping with irritation they're busy so buzz off taro blinked in surprise clearly taken aback by bakuo's sharp tone Izuku shot you an apologetic look, sensing the tension. He knew Bakugo was the jealous type, but you hadn't seen him this worked up in a while. Katsuki, it's okay. You said, trying to defuse the situation. Taru, we can definitely study together. Just give me a moment to finish lunch, okay? Taru nodded, excusing himself along with Izuku. He turned back to Katsuki, who was now fuming silently. Katsuki, there's no need to be possessive. He chatted gently. Taro is just a friend, and you know I love spending time with you. He grumbled something, until it all, but seemed to calm down slightly. He reached across the table and took his hand in yours, giving Gary a reassuring squeeze. He reluctantly met your gaze, and his anger seemed to melt away as he looked into your eyes. I know you're the only one for me, Wyan. He muttered, his voice softer. I just... I can't stand the thought of someone else trying to take you away from me. He smiled, leaning over to place a thunder kiss on his lips. No one could ever take me away from you. Katsuki, you're my number one, always. His skull turned into a smirk, and he squeezed your hand back. Damn right. The rest of your lunch was spent in a much more pleasant atmosphere, with Katsuki no longer jealous, but possessively proud to have you by his side. It was just another day in your life as lovers, navigating the ups and downs of a relationship filled with passion and love. After lunch, you and Katsuki decided to spend some quality time together in the campus. It was a tranquil spot, a stark contrast to the bustling cafeteria I had just left behind. The two of you strolled hand in hand in the garden, the gentle rustling of leaves and the chirping of birds providing a soothing background. Bakugo's initial jealousy had faded into the background now, and he seemed more relaxed, his grip on your hand not as tight as before. He knew he had a fury personality and could be possessive, but you also understood it came from a place of deep affection. As you reached a quiet bend shaded, by a blossom tree. Katsuki pulled you closer to him, wrapping his arm around your shoulders. 
he leaned into his side, feeling the warmth of his body against yours. I'm sorry for getting all worked up back there. Katsuki finally spoke, his voice softer than usual. It's just, seeing you talking to that guy rubbed me the wrong way. He sighed softly, tracing patterns on his thigh with your fingers. I get it, Katsuki. I know you care about me a lot, and sometimes that protective side of you comes out. But you have to trust me, too. I'm with you because I want to be. He nodded, his gaze fixed on the ground. I do trust you, Wyan. It's just hard sometimes. He tilted your head up to meet his eyes, your fingers gently turning his chin towards you. I'm not going anywhere, Katsuki. You're the one I love, and I chose to be with you. I hope you confided in yourself to believe in us. A small, genuine smile tugged at the corner of his lips. As he leaned in to kiss you, it was a sweet, lingering kiss that spoke volumes, conveying all the love and reassurance he couldn't pull into words. Thanks, Wyan. He murmured against your lips. I'm really lucky to have you. You grinned, resting your head on his shoulder. And I'm lucky to have you, Katsuki. The two of you sat there in peaceful silence, wrapped up in each other's presence, knowing that no matter what challenges came your way, your love was strong enough to withstand them. In that moment, under that cherry blossom tree, everything felt right in the world. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm orange glow over the garden, he and Baku stayed on the bench, enjoying the serenity of the moment. The world seemed to slow down, and all that mattered was the connection you shared. Eventually, you both decided it was time to head back to your dormitories. The night was still young, and you had more time together to look forward to. Walking hand in hand back to the dorms, Katsuki's grip was gentler now, a silent promise that he was working on his jealousy issues for the sake of your relationship. He appreciated his efforts, and he knew it was a sign of his deep love for you. When he reached your room, Katsuki gave you one more lingering kiss before letting go of your hand. I'll see you later, Ryan. Count on it. He replied with a smile, and he left you with a feeling of contentment that warmed your heart. As you settled into your room, you couldn't help but reflect on the day's events. Jealousy could be a tricky emotion to navigate, but you were confident that your love for each other was strong enough to conquer any doubts or insecurities. With a sigh of contentment, he knew that no matter what challenges laid ahead, you and Katsuki were in it together, and your love would continue to grow, unshaken and unbreakable. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!